kind of for my own thing that they uh, either give him like a better tip or hitbox or they change like the algorithm around his sword or something because uh, I feel like a lot of times things that look like and they definitely should be tipper like barely hit like the not ends of like the barely hit the uh, not tipper hitbox and then it ends up not being a tipper because that's how the game registers it or something some yeah right. we'll see mm -hmm. we'll see so. yeah all right looks like they're just gonna go ahead and get things started here yeah all right I feel like might want to offer Lucina in this matchup just because Zero Suit, very nimble, very fast character, can get around the space that Marth wants to occupy. So I feel, yeah, he's gonna go with the Lucina this time around. All right. Okay. Yeah, it is. It, it can be a little rough. Like that's that's a that's a very factual statement. It can be a little rough. Try at least trying to line up some tippers against um, Lucina or against Zero Suit. So at this point in time, now all he's basically gonna do is uh well if I if he gets a hard read he can just do it now especially if it's like a hard read F smash if she like flip kicks in he, he, she's getting body for it mm -hmm. yeah all right the grab right here start good strong start here from uh Mr E yeah all right let's see how does he get back to the stage okay yeah just gonna pretty much get hit unscathed yeah all right yeah. You can see that both these two are very nimble, really like to use their movement to try to pressure, but that kind of makes them go around, up and over each other, and not quite hitting each other. You can see a lot of whiffs that time around. Yeah, see, he's trying to get off that ledge, but oh, Mr. E with the turnaround grab, I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, keep the pressure up, has not been able to get the, st uh, the KO yet, but... Man, he's like actually thwarting out all of these, um... Like all of these flip kick, uh, you know, situations too, or the flip jumps at the very least. Not even getting the kick out, just the jump yeah. uh, mm -hmm. in itself is getting uh, getting blown up. So, also notice him using that boost F tilt. Yeah, uh, kind of like a kind of like a better version of a dash tech for Marcina. So, <laughs> I mean, I feel like in general, Lucina, or excuse me, Zero Suit likes to stay in the air. She's got really strong aerials to pressure their opponent. But if a character like Lucina can anti air very easily or just intercept air to air combat, it's just difficult to be able to deal with that matchup. Yeah. All right, how does he land? Okay, yeah, able to make it back down. He uses the whip, put him off stage. Nice, okay. Oh. All right, trying to chase him down, but yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, you can see uh, Jack Moo actually starting to play like a little more of the, like, retreating game, a lot of retreating fairs coming out. Uh, he's probably trying to find a little extra damage so he can line up uh, a good KO against uh, Mr. E, but Mr. E's defense is looking so good right now. Also, again, keeping him off stage. He's not going to be... Oh, he actually saved him. Oh, uh, but it doesn't seem to matter. He's like, even if I save you, I give it and take it away. That's my uh, that's my stock regardless. Nah, man. He just want to play with his food. He's like, oh, no, no, no. You're coming back up, and I'm going to go ahead and finish you off another way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ah, he's just not quite finding Mr. E in the right positioning. Mr. E's been doing a good job of mixing up how he's landing and how he's fast falling towards the stage. Jacobo's not quite able to intercept that quite yet, but that time it'll work. The kick flip will be able to seal out that stock, but still, <laughs> fresh stock for Mr. E on his second one. All right, get off of me, Mr. E. Though, off to telling me, I'll tell him to get off of me. Okay, okay. use the whip. He's been DIing out every single time, so not able to get anything. And oof, the DI in. I think that messed up on where the hitbox is lining up for the spike as well. Yeah. That was really close, though. Yeah, it would have been a, a good pickup for him. That's like probably would have finished that, uh, finished that stock. Mr. E, still though, pretty solid lead, a whole a whole stock ahead, and he's already already got him in that that sweet F smash KO percentage. So, watch the flip. Oh, staying on the ledge a little too long. Mr. E knows, like he's he, you can see him the way he's putting his shield up. Uh, you know, he's he's trying to protect himself from uh, that off off the ledge flip jump option, but also trying to put himself in position to be able to punish it uh, when it when it crosses him up. Right. Oh, the Zarin to the Ferris actually, very nice stuff. And the whip, that'll be able to do it. Yeah, there's a new kill option that Zero Suit has, but down 139%, still possible, but just the way Mr. E's been playing on, never mind. Yeah, the way Mr. A's been playing on offense, he can probably get the stock really easily. No JB though. <laughs> I got the trade. He got the, got the stock percent yeah. trade right there. Mm -hmm. That's definitely important. You never, you never want to go out with the JB. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and of course, this is the other side of the, the pool. So this is also to make it to the top one in 28 winner side. So a lot on the line here. Uh, it, it's to see uh, where they're going to end up on Sunday tomorrow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm actually, well, 
Oh, so I was going to say Sunday, but I was like, damn, is that champ? The, so they're just done after this? After you get out of pools, it's just top 128 is all tomorrow? Yeah, all That's, tomorrow. Yeah. Feels good. Feels mm -hmm. good to wake up, right? If, like, this is your only event. Feels good to wake up, you know, slap everybody, and then be able to go back to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes a nice little nap. Yeah, exactly. All right. Oh. Getting this next match going underway. Okay, I want to... All right, I want to do Yoshi's. Uh, not really. I feel like this is actually a stage a lot of people don't like to play on, so I'm surprised that uh, Jackamu decided to come here, especially when he's not playing like a short character. Like, if you're playing a short character, I can kind of get it. Uh, being on the sides as a short character, you're like basically in the stage, so a lot of people will like have a hard time hitting you, but he's playing ZSS, and so she has a pretty nice crouch, but eh. We'll, right, see, we'll see what he gets off this. Not able to cover with that Dolphin Slash, great parry. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I just feel like the, the slants on this stage, it will, although they're subtle, they can mess up your spacing with aerials. So unless Jackamoo's really comfortable on this stage, I can see that just kind of interrupting the flow of the match. Chopped. All right, sending him off. You know, I got the nice low, low recovery, but you kind of see him mixing it up this time around. Oh, I like the idea though. He did flip in. I mean, Mr. E was kind of almost in position for him to catch that flip kick, but mm -hmm. he threw it out just a little too early. Yeah, unfortunate. All right. See, now on the sides. Yeah, I see down smash for for ZSS. Not as uh not as prominent as it was in Smash 4 and and Brawl. Uh, they mm -hmm. they definitely nerfed it uh, quite a bit, but it's still, you know, you get a you get a down smash around like 100%. You're probably still in, in a good spot to be at least be able to get an, a clean follow up off that. Looking for the up B. Yeah, and I like that good punish right there from uh Mr. E as well. Oh, Dare out of shield. Covers a lot of space on the left and right side. Very smart option for Mr. E. What's the left trap going to be? Tries to make it back with the Zare, but again, it just looks like the, the height of the stage kind of changes it up. And the down tilt tech chase into board smash. Very nice stuff. And that's that, that right there is, I feel like that's one of the bigger reasons why you play uh, Lucina over Mark II. Like, you have to get that tipper. Uh, to get that tech chase set up like as early as she just got it mm -hmm. uh, But sometimes when you don't they just kind of slide and like and it's like all the way up to like 90% or whatever That they're still like just sliding so yeah, but regardless I mean that was a really good uh, tech chase from him gets the F tilt not gonna mm -hmm. get anything off of it though Oh, she, oh, okay that kind of gets a parry both of them parrying each other into the upbeat almost found the corner of DI but not quite Gotta watch himself, man. He's letting, he's letting Mr. E land on the shield quite a bit with some uh, aerials. And, you know, Mr. E is not, uh, sh not shy to break some shields. Ooh, fair to fair. Putting him on stage one more time. This is a bad spot for Jakamu to be in. Yeah, just one good hit, especially with how small the stage is, uh, could mean death for Jakamu. Just have yeah. to see. He's playing much more defensively. He's putting up a lot of shield. Could be dangerous. Considering the option of the shield breaker, Mr. E hasn't pulled it out quite yet, so I feel like he could save that for a good pocket opportunity. Okay. Oh. Okay. Dare to dare to back air. That'll do it, Mr. All e. Right. Now, All right. now finished, and we'll go take his nap <laughs> that he so yeah, well he's, deserves. He's done. He's not, honestly, he's he's like in nap wear right now, man. He's still got like the I woke up in these joggers. Like, come on, man. Yeah. That was that was clean. I I feel like I've seen that hit before, but like. Not for a KO option. Like, I've just mm -hmm. seen somebody 